Hello guys, in this video, we will read events or messages from Azure Event Hub into our Visual Studio C Sharp code. So, we are in Visual Studio. Let's say create new project, console app. Let's give name, so I will say my event hub data reader next and create. And here our console app is ready. Now let's first install the required NuGet package. So I'll right click. I'll say manage NuGet packages. Browse and here I'll say event hubs. And let's install this second package that is azure.messaging.eventhubs.processor. So install, accept. And let's go to program.cs file again. Now to read data from event apps first we will need connection string for event hub then we will need event hub name and we will need consumer group name. Now let's go to the portal and retrieve the required values. So we are in Azure portal let's open this event hub namespace under that let's open this event up that is first event up okay so under settings under shared access policies we can find this policy so let's open that and let's copy this primary connection string for this event up so i have copied it and let's paste it over here so we'll say where connection string for event hub is equal to We'll paste it over here. Let's copy the event hub name. So I'll say where event hub name is equal to. So again, let's go to the portal and under that. So this is this is our event hub. That is first event hub. So let's copy it. Let's paste it over here. Let's get the consumer group name. So I'll say where consumer group name is equal to so again let's go to the portal let's close this so we are in this standard namespace that is event up namespace let's open the event up and under event up see this is the consumer group which we have created in our earlier video that is first consumer group so let's copy it and let's paste it over here now we'll use azure storage account for our checkpointing process so what is checkpointing and offset we have covered in our earlier videos so i will say let's use azure storage for checkpointing okay so we will need blob container name then we will need connection string for this blob container So for that, so for that, let's again go to the Azure portal. So I have created this storage account. Let's open that. Let's open storage browser and blob containers. And you see, I have already created a container with name blob container. So let's simply copy this name. Let's paste it as blob container name over here. Let's again go back to the portal and if I go down you can see this access keys so from here let's copy the connection string for this storage account so I'll click on show I have copied it so again let's go to the visual studio and let's paste it as connection string for blob container. Let's create blob container client so I'll say where blob container client is equal to new blob container client to this we need to provide connection string and then blob container name so connection string will be this connection string for blob container let's paste it over here and then the blob container name
now actually create event processor client which will perform the job of receiving or processing events from azure event hub so we'll say let's create event processor client so so we'll say we are event processor client is equal to new event processor client and to this will provide blob container client consumer group connection string for event hub and finally event hub name so we'll say blob container client then consumer group name and then connection string for event hub so we'll say connection string for event hub and finally event hub name so event hub name let's now create event handler which will be trigger whenever event arrives in event hub so for this i will say let's create event handler so i'll say async task events handler and to this we need to provide a uh, process event args and i'll say arguments and under this i will say we are event received is equal to i will say args dot data dot event body dot mm, to string right and finally let's update the checkpoint so i'll say await args dot update checkpoint async so guys as we are using azure storage account for updating checkpoint this single line that is this line number 32 will do the job of managing offset and checkpoint for us let's now attach this events handler to this event processor client so for that i will say event processor client dot process events async plus equal to this events handler so basically what happens is whenever an event is available in event up this event handler it will be triggered and here you can see we have simply uh, received that event up so we'll simply add a debugger on line number 33 so whenever an event is available this debugger will be hit and we can check the contents in this variable that is event received we need to create events error handler as well so for this i will simply copy this code okay paste it over here and here i will say events error handler and argument will be process error event arguments and here uh, as of now let's just not do anything let's keep it as it is and i will attach this error handler as well so again i will copy this line i will paste it over here and i will say event processor client dot uh, process error async and to this let's attach this events error handler let's now start event processing so i'll say let's start event processing for this uh, i will say event processor client dot start processing let's finally say a uh, console dot read line so that our program keeps running continuously okay so our code is ready and whenever an event is available in event up okay this event handler it should be called and debugger that is debugger on line number 33 should be hit and then we'll cross check the contents of this variable that is event received so let's run our program now let's send a few sample events from azure portal again we are in portal let's open this event up namespace uh, let's say generate data preview and here i will pass simple json so i'll say 
नेम हर्षल एंड लेट सेंट एंड सी इमीडिएटली आवर डी बगर हैज बिन हिट ओ हियर एंड इफ आई प्रेस एफ टेन एंड इफ आई चेक द कंटेंट्स ऑफ इवेंट रिसीव यू कैन सी दिस नेम हर्षल सो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली रिसीव द इवेंट्स विच आर सेंट टू एज यूर इवेंट अप इन टू आवर विजय स्टूडियो सी शॉप कोड थैंक यू गाइज